This video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They have optimized gel buds for the perfect in-ear fit and will not budge. Watch. Wow, look at that. The gel tips specifically are modified to seamlessly fit the curvature of the human ear for maximum comfort. They offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. You can get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands, and they have over 50,000 five-star reviews. With Raycon's Everyday Earbuds, you can choose between three sound profiles. Pure sound for perfect clarity listening to podcasts and audiobooks. Balanced sound for universal all-around performance for a variety of music genres. And bass sound for songs with strong beats. You can also toggle between noise isolation, which blocks out all outside noise, and awareness mode so you can still listen to what's going on around you. Click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash prozd to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Time to try... Oh, hello, Steve. Steve, you're going to watch me do the first two items of trying all 40 Taco Bell items. Okay. Time to try 40 different Taco Bell items. Uh, I love Taco Bell, so I am looking forward to doing this. Um, and the reason why I'm out here is this was actually brought because... Uh, um, uh, but hey, Steve, you want to be in the video? Because it would be sad to order Taco yes, Bell just by yourself. Bite. Yeah. Um, I was going to pet your cats. Okay, well, my buddy Steve brought this over. And so, yeah. Uh, although, we're not asking your opinion on them. Just my opinion. Uh, first thing we got is the Mexican pizza. You ever eat this? No. I thought you didn't want his opinion. Uh, <laughs> well, that's more it's of not a fact. Opinion. It's more of a opinion, fact, yeah. really. Uh... So I think it's like refried bean beans. <laughs> that was hilarious to you. Refried beans um, with trees, and uh, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a shot. I've never had this in my life. Okay. Yeah, it's not a pizza, but I get it. It's basically <laughs> just like, you know, I think it's like, it's like beef and, I guess, bean, refried beans. It tastes good. It, it does have some limp dick potato chunks on top that don't really do anything. But I don't think I would ever get this on my own, like, without trying all the Taco, taco Bell stuff. But it's not bad. Let's say B, chips and cheese. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spend 10 minutes talking about this. <laughs> Thank um, goodness. You know, not bad. Not bad, queso. Chips are whatever. They're just kind of simple. Like, totally, totally decent. I'm going to say B-. minus. Like, again, I wouldn't really order these on my own, but it's fucking nacho cheese and chips. Like, I can't really complain, so... Thank you, Steve, for bringing this over and for sitting here silently. Thank you, Steve. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all for the next one, whenever that's right here. All right, it's time for some more Taco Bell. Um, I'm actually recording this in the middle of a live board game charity stream, and they're all just forced to listen to me do this, but I don't fucking care. It's my stream. Uh, we have two items here. The We'll start with the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa, which recently came back. And uh, I've already had it since, but it's fucking delicious. Got that toasted cheddar shell. Um, let's uh, let's fucking go for it. Yeah, that cheddar crunchy crust is delicious. It's rich, flavorful. I just get this with seasoned beef because that's the default. It's, doesn't matter. It's still great. Like, I like the chalupas anyway, but this is just, like, the excellent fucking version. This is, um, yeah, this is S-Rank. Uh, S-Rank for this, it is, uh, a Marvel, and they should just put it on the permanent menu. I don't know why those sickos take this away from us. Cheesy Fiesta Potatoes, which I never get. Can't remember the last time I had these. They're just potato chunks. Uh, with sour cream and cheese, I have my Kirby fork I'm going to use here to partake. Um, I mean, shit, it's just potatoes covered in cheese and sour cream. Like, 
can't really complain. Someone in the chat says, now I want Taco Bell. They should be fucking sponsoring me for this. You know, it's very simple. I wouldn't order these like on the regular, but they're pretty fucking good. I'm gonna say B plus. Underrated, you know. I, I think they're super simple. They even got a little bit of a spice to them. Not bad. It's been a while since the last time I ate Taco Bell. For me, uh, I was out of, the, out of town sick with COVID, so that was fun. Um, and since that time, I guess the Mexican pizzas are gone, which means I can't get the veggie Mexican pizza, at least yet. So, change of plans. I got three items here. First off, let's start with the spicy potato soft taco, which I'm actually a big fan of. It's got potato chunks, cheese, lettuce, and sauce. Honestly, I love their soft potato tacos. The potatoes are nice and soft. The sauce is tasty. It's very simple, but a great option for vegetarians. I, and I honestly would just order this on my own. A plus. I think this is great for what it is. Really simple, very tasty. Next up is the black bean toasted cheddar chalupa. I normally don't really go for bean stuff, but let's give it a shot. Honestly, pretty good. I never really had their black beans before, but they're very like earthy and meaty, like like kind of like this very rich flavor. It goes well with the crunchy richness of the shell. Uh, it's very decadent, um, like the regular chalupa. I prefer the meat version, because I do think the beans kind of like compete with the shell, but still pretty good. I'm gonna say A tier. The veggie power bowl. Uh, looks like this comes with, let's take a look. This is huge. Comes with black beans, tomatoes, sour cream, lettuce, regular potatoes, and guac. Is there like rice in here or? Oh yeah, there's rice underneath, so it's just a big, Whole I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything together. Okay. This is okay. <clears throat> I think the problem is Taco Bell lettuce is really limp dick and not very good. Their tomatoes are also not very good. The beans are good. The rice is okay. The guac is not that good, actually. I've never really had their guac. It's kind of thin and runny. But the potatoes are pretty good. So when you combine it all together, there's not enough cheese also. I wish there was more cheese in this. It's okay. It's like, yeah, I scraped out some fillings from random tacos and yeah, B minus and like a low B minus. All right, we got the cheese quesadilla and the burrito supreme. Let's go for the cheese quesadilla first. This is something I would like never order because I always want like meat in them, but. Honestly, it's simple, it hits the spot. I don't miss the meat as much as I thought, but it is a little one note. Pretty tasty, but I would say this is like um, like a solid B. Not bad, but kind of needs some meat or something there to spice it up a bit. And then we have the Burrito Supreme. So this is supposed to have what? Tomatoes, lettuce, onions, a bunch of stuff. All I see is like cheese and stuff. Is this like lopsided? Let's keep going. Oh, okay. A hint of lettuce. I'm really just getting just cheese, sour cream, beef and bean. There's a single tomato piece in there. I'm kind of surprised. This is not nearly as supreme as I thought it was gonna be. Really, I was expecting more veggies, but it's really just beef, beans and cheese, a little bit of sour cream, just in a mush. This is also about a beef, but lower than the cheese quesadilla actually. All right, today, you got black beans, just straight up black beans, and the nachos bel grande, which I've never had. I think one of the most calorie dense things on the menu, so I'm curious. There's a lot of nachos, sure, okay. Here are the black beans. Savory meaty, apparently they're completely vegetarian, but they have a nice kind of like meaty flavor. Barely any though, that's kind of bullshit. They're fine, I'm not gonna order these on their own, plus the portion size is kind of kind of shit. So I'll say like a B minus, a respectable B minus, it's just fucking black beans. Now let's go for the nachos bel grande. It looks like there's meat, cheese, sour cream, a little bit of tomato, and beans as well. Nacho chips at Taco Bell, 
are very flimsy though. They're not very flavorful. You know, I kind of miss something like Tostitos or something a little more, a little more salt, a little more crunch. Toppings are pretty good. You know, I get it. This is a big, big ass bowl. So for the portion size on this, it brings it up. I'm gonna say, this is like a B. Like, I, I'll be honest, I would never order nachos from Taco Bell because I just prefer everything else. But if you want a good size plate of decent nachos, they're not bad. Today we got black beans and rice and the black bean case three. A lot of beans. Okay. These are about as good as the regular beans. I'll be honest, I don't know if I need the rice because Taco Bell rice is kind of mush. I'm still like a B minus, but a decent little side. I wouldn't order this myself. The black bean quesarito, which I think is a bunch of cheese and oh, it's very hot. My first bite was just sour cream and cheese. This is honestly really satisfying. The quesarito, if you never had it, has like the cheese outside layer. And it's got nacho cheese and like a chipotle sauce and sour cream. And then it's got like the rice and beans. So it could be dog turds in there and this would still be good. It's just filled with ooey gooey sauce and cheese. So it's like, you can't even taste really taste the difference between like the beans and like meat. Honestly, I'm gonna give this like an A plus. All right, I am making my friends watch me try Taco Bell items again. Uh, Cause you know, whatever. This is the quesarito. got beef, rice, not enough sauce as much as the other one. Looks pretty fucking good. I'm gonna say S tier. Like it's full of just cheesy, saucy, beefy goodness. Very satisfying. And the cheese on the outside edge really makes it. It's really good. The other thing are these little Cinnabon bites or whatever, which if you've never had them. They're literally just fried dough with cream inside and powdered sugar. A plus. I can't have these all the time, but uh, two little bites of with your quesarito, not bad. I'm at my boy Jay's uh, making a film uh, eat Taco Bell. First off, we got the cinnamon twist. I think these are a waste of time. Let's go for it. People think I like hate these. I don't hate these, but they're not that good. They're just kind of like cinnamony styrofoam. Waste of time. Why would anyone order these? This is like C minus. This is the beefy melt burrito. I don't really know what's in a beefy melt burrito, but... Oh, okay. Beef, cheese, tortilla strips or something. Pretty good. It's hard to compare to the quesarito, which is incredible. Um, I will say a little drier, but it's got some good flavor. Could use a little more sauce, I think, because there's so many like dry components like beef and chip. But overall, I'm gonna say this is like a B... A solid B. Chicken chipotle melt. Still got like chicken cheese chipotle sauce. Pretty good, it's extremely simple, but it's very satisfying. You know, I like the chipotle sauce, it's a little spicy, but I mean, not spicy, but you know, zesty. Yeah, I think I'd give this B plus. It's, it's, it's pretty good, like I, I like it. And then we have the Fiesta veggie burrito. And this, I believe, has black beans, rice, guac, like a whole bunch of stuff. The picture was misleading. It seemed like there'd be a ton of beans. There's not really. It seems like it's more rice. It's like rice. And you, know, you got beans, tomatoes. Okay, then there's more black beans. I think it's just sort of lopsided. Also, I'm, I'm not eating like this because I'm a freak. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get to the beans fast. Um, I promise I don't eat burritos like this. I think if there were more black beans throughout, I'd like this more because I want that savoriness. Because otherwise it's just kind of like guacky sour cream rice with tomatoes, which is not that great. I might say like a C plus. And now it's dinner time. Taco Bell twice in a day, baby. We're gonna do the power menu bowl and the cheesy bean and rice burrito. Let's do the burrito first. Cheesy bean and rice, so many beans, a lot of beans, a lot of farts. Okay. It's simple, a little one note, a little pasty, because just beans and rice, but not bad. 
I think this gets a solid B for me. Then we have the Power Bowl, which is humongous. Again, it's got guac, looks like chicken, tomato, sour cream, lettuce, rice. I feel like this is gonna be pretty similar to how I felt about the uh, black bean one. This old, this has a lot of shit in it. Okay, just kind of get a whole mix of. This is like the on the exact same level for me. The chicken really doesn't add much because it's just kind of bland, slightly rubbery, you know, white chicken, like white meat. It's okay. I'm not even sure if I prefer this over the just the black beans. I kind of like the flavor of the black beans more. That's gonna be B minus, and I think it's actually not as good as the black bean bowl. Let's start with the soft taco supreme. See, it's got you know lettuce, tomato, beef. It's not bad. I kind of wish there was a little more sour cream and maybe even some kind of sauce. It's okay, I would never get this. I'd rather get like a crunchy taco, I think personally. I think it's just a solid B. Uh, this though is the Crunchwrap Supreme. This used to be my go-to order all the time. It's exactly the same as the Soft Taco Supreme ingredient wise, but there's nacho cheese and there's like a crunchy shell inside. The crunch makes a huge difference. Also the nacho cheese, I love nacho cheese. And the shape of it, it's almost like a nice crunchy sandwich. Like, this is S tier. I don't usually order this anymore, but every time I eat one, I'm like, fuck, this is good. This was the item I had on my first Taco Bell experience ages ago. And I was like, damn, this place is pretty fucking good. Dinner time, baby. The Chalupa Supreme. It's got a Chalupa shell. Looks like veggies, beef, probably sour cream because it's supreme. Let's see. Even though it's not the toasted cheddar chalupa, the sort of chalupa shell that's sort of fried flatbread has a really great flavor, very rich, very, you know, it's a lot, but it's great. Again, with the other supreme stuff, I kind of wish it was more sour cream. It's a little lacking because it can get a little dry. Like a B plus, it's good. The shell especially is what makes it very tasty. I do love that. Beefy five layer burrito. Now the layers, let's see, what are the layers? There's beef, there's cheese, there's beans. I see there's also cheddar cheese and sour cream. I don't know if they have a sour cream shortage or something, but there's really not much at all. It's still good. Their burritos are just good because they're just filled with like nacho cheese and stuff. Like you can't fuck that up. You know, again, I've had a lot of beans lately, but I'm it, they're really starting to grow on me. This might even be like an A minus. I'm gonna say A minus. We just have the crunchy taco and the cheesy gordita crunch. I would never order just a crunchy taco. They're like, I mean, even then the Doritos taco is so much better. Cause it's just, what, cheese, beef, and lettuce? Something where you definitely need the sauce. Otherwise it's just, I'll say C plus. It's not bad, but when the Doritos taco exists and it's so much better, I don't need this. But then you take that taco and you wrap it with cheese and this gordita shell and sauce. And then, ho ho ho, that's S tier. This is the Doritos Locos Taco Supreme Nacho Cheese. So again, Supreme means it's got the sour cream, I believe. Adding a nacho cheese shell improved it so much. I mean, that's a solid A tier. It's old reliable, it's small, but it's good. Flavor throughout with the shell. It's good shit. Next is the Black Bean Crunchwrap Supreme, which I've never had this version. I love the Crunchwrap Supreme, as you guys know. But the Black Bean version, that's fascinating to me. I do wonder if it's gonna be too wet, but we'll see. The biggest detriment of this version is the crunch is gone. Because the black beans are, you know, very soupy and thick. So the, the crunchy shell is very soggy. The black beans themselves are also very strong, so they kind of overshadow a lot of stuff. Um, but once you get like some sauce with the black beans, it tastes good, but the whole point of the crunch wrap is the crunch and the texture and, you know, it going all together. Out of all their black bean stuff, I wouldn't get this. It's a B. It's a Dorito day today. This is the regular Doritos Loco Taco, not Supreme. 
I also didn't realize that this, the non cream doesn't have tomatoes. So no tomatoes, no sour cream, just beef, lettuce, and cheese. Maybe pico de gallo? I don't know. And of course the Doritos shell. It's definitely a step down because again, Taco Bell stuff usually needs some kind of sauce for me, some kind of, you know, sour cream, some kind of something to make it less dry. But the, the, the nacho shell helps a lot. Um, it gives it kind of like a, you know, instead of just beef in a shell, it gives it more of like almost like a walking taco. Like, you know, like when you put like taco meat in like a Fritos bag or something, mix it up. I'm gonna say B, it's definitely not as good. It, you, the sour cream, the tomatoes even like give it some more, you know, brightness, some creaminess. This is lacking in that, but wouldn't say no to it. And then the other Doritos thing is you can get a Doritos cheesy gritty crunch, which it's actually 10 calories less, I believe, than the other one. So it's like, why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, it's the same thing, but even better. This gets S rank with the little Dorito next to it. S plus Dorito. Next up is my actual go-to, what I always get. The steak quesadilla, which has uh, obviously steak. One of the, I'm realizing a lot of shit at Taco Bell does not have steak. Steak, cheese, like a jalapeno creamy sauce. It's my go-to, it's obviously S tier, but like the steak and is nice and salty, The and has a nice creamy sauce, ooey gooey cheese, it's just so fucking good. The next one, so this is the Crunchy Taco Supreme, which has sour cream and tomatoes on top of the regular stuff. It may sound silly, but adding sour cream is what this needs, you know? And I get, you know, you can add sauce to make it better, but on its own, without with the sour cream, you actually don't need anything else. It's just a solid, decent taco. It's just like a B, you know? It's like nothing wrong with it. Just a solid, you know, satisfying little taco. Nothing great, just reliable. Today we have, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had this. A cheesy roll-up, which sounds like a terrifying fruit roll-up. It's, it's, I think it's just a tortilla with three cheeses in it or something. This doesn't taste bad, but it's literally just a tortilla with cheese in it. I could make this at home and it probably tastes better. D plus, it's not bad, but it's not Anything. This is nothing. Next up is the chicken quesadilla. I don't think I've ever had the chicken one. Um, I think it's the same thing as the steak one, just chicken. Well, I like the steak one better. Would not say no to this. It's very similar. Great sauce. Love the cheese. Love the saltiness. The, the chicken makes it a little different, which I like. A plus. It's great. Well, I stopped by a Taco Bell drive-thru thinking I was almost done, and then they have some new fucking thing. So let's try these. These are crispy chicken cantina. One has avocado ranch, the other has chipotle. I think I might have had these before, but I just forgot. Anyway, chipotle. We'll try that first. I like the sauce. It's, you know, that nice little like, tangy, spicy, not spicy, but tangy spice. Um, not enough chicken. Um, and the rest is okay. Unremarkable B, I'll say. It's fine. I doubt the avocado ranch will be that much better but let's give it a shot. These are both about the same. It's really just gonna depend on if you like a little spicy more or a little creamy more. They're almost exactly the same to me though. I think I would pick the Chipotle over the avocado, but they're both B rank. Why would you get the soft taco at Taco Bell? I don't understand. The crunchy taco, I can understand, but this, it's just beef, lettuce, cheese. I know I can put sauce on it, but I'm trying it just on its own is fine. It's probably one of the, I wouldn't say as bad as a cheesy roll up, but still pretty, pretty generic. I'm gonna say C minus. The Chipotle Ranch Grilled Chicken Burrito, something I would never order on my own, but I'm curious to try it here. By the way, for those watching on YouTube, I'm doing this in the middle of a stream, so they're all just watching me do this. It's like ranch, guacamole, grilled chicken, something crunchy. I'm trying to bite down the side here so I can get something besides fucking guacamole. It reminds me of like a wrap. I mean, it is a wrap because it's burrito, but like, you know how they have those healthy, like, oh, salad wraps. It's kind of in that ballpark. The crunch helps. I don't dislike it. B. 
it's okay. But without the crunch, I think this would be significantly worse. Here I am standing awkwardly in my new house. Uh, we have not unpacked yet, but uh, we do have Taco Bell. <laughs> First up, I think this is the bean burrito. I don't like beans this much, where it's just beans in a burrito. This is fine, but it's really testing the limits of my bean patience. I'm gonna say it's like a C. I, I, I don't, I need more than that. Now, this, I thought I was almost done with this. I thought I was done with this, but they've added the Cheesy W Burrito and another one you'll see after this. This is my, this is my college go-to. Oh, back really? Oh yeah, I ate a ton of these back then. Is it as good as you remember? It's pretty good. It's a bunch of beef, cheese, rice, some tortilla strips. I think they're tortilla strips. Otherwise, what the fuck is that? It's pretty good, but the quesarito has basically made this obsolete for me. It's a little too much beef. It's a little too salty, but like a B plus. It's good. I mean, it's just a burrito full of cheese and beef and sour cream, so it's gonna taste good, but the quesarito has made this obsolete. This isn't counted towards the food items, but my wife spilled a mango whip freeze. Oh yeah, I, okay, I ordered it. You have to talk about how I yeah, spilled it. Spilled it all over uh, <laughs> the front that's, steps. That's why it's um mostly empty. Oh. It's kind of creamsicle -y, right? It's good. I like it. Creamsicle. Yeah, it's good. I don't like mango, and I I think this is great. Yeah, actually. it's not. Too, it's, I didn't think it was too mangoey. Yeah, I thought you would is, like it. I'm is, sorry, I spilled most of it. Uh, yeah, this gets like an A. Uh, maybe an A plus if there were more of it, but it's just an Stop A. it, you're being rude. Anyway, I'm at Jay's again. It's the last one, I think, after they've added the new items. This is the Chalupa Black Bean Supreme. Uh, technically, they just took, because they were very confused, they took the, the beef one and just swapped black bean, but I think that's exactly the same, so. Like all their black bean stuff, the black beans are good. They're a little overpowering. So I still prefer like the, you know, the beef. I would say, that's like a B plus. Now the last one is the spicy cheesy double beef burrito, which I, that's a new item, I believe. Because the cheesy double beef, like I mentioned before, was an old item. All right, let's see the difference. Oh, there's jalapenos in there. Okay. The jalapenos really help a lot. Um, Cause I think the cheese double beef alone has been eclipsed by the quesarito, but adding the jalapenos, which I'm realizing now, that's on like none of their menu items, the jalapenos. Like, I don't think I remember a single item that had jalapenos. They, they just added them for this. I love it. Adds that nice pickly, like, you know, spicy flavor. This is like a solid A minus. The jalapenos give it a very different feel than the other burritos. Cause the other burritos are just kind of like cheesy, bit like saucy beef. But with jalapenos in the mix, pretty fucking good. Okay, that is every Taco Bell menu item. I think, I'm almost positive, unless they added something literally like five minutes ago. Overall, I enjoyed the hell out of this experience. And everyone's gonna be like, oh, you actually, I lost weight too. So I'm telling you now, uh, I mean, I endorse Taco Bell as a, lo a weight loss <laughs> option. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I exercise every day and portion control. Don't worry about my health. Just know that I enjoyed this experience very much. Bye.